So while I was testing these micro switches, I did find one that's faulty. So here I have my multimeter set to 200 ohms and I'm gonna hook these leads up to these terminals and I'm getting no reading. When I push this down, it should read about one, 1 1.2. And as you can see, this is a faulty switch. So we're going to take this one apart just so we can maybe see what's wrong with it. Okay, so as I took this off this terminal and you can see here it's it's pretty burnt. So that's going to be what our problem is here. So now what I've done, I just wanted to see if it would work, is I took that micro switch apart here. Just use a piece of sandpaper. Um, and I sanded off the, the burned ends. I pulled this out with the needle nose pliers. As you can see, that's shiny in there now too. So I'm going to just pop this and seat this back together. This little clicker tab just sits right in there. And I gotta make sure that these two ends, and you'll see they're a little thicker, that they line up. So I can test it again here. Go in this terminal, this terminal. So now when I push down, I should get a reading of about one. So as you can see, there was a burn on this. I was able to clean that up and I'm not sure how long that would last. But if you are in a predicament and you're not sure when your new parts are gonna come, um, this one wasn't too bad, so I was able to just polish off that burn. And you could put this back right into your microwave. It has clean contacts, and you'd be good to go again. And I'm not sure how long. Maybe forever, and maybe for a short while. So, that is how I just, I guess, fixed a faulty micro switch and it cost me nothing thanks for watching check out one of my other microwave repair videos